Bitch, you be breaking a heart. Breaking a heart. Come on, heart. NFL draft? Yeah, NFL draft for last night. Okay. Uh, the Bart- Philadelphia Bulldogs? Yeah, Philadelphia That's what Bulldogs. You about? Yeah, they basically got Georgia team. You know what I'm saying? The whole defensive line. Bro, they basically got this place is UJ out there. And they finna win so many championships. You know what I'm saying? But you know you think so? Man, come but on, they, man. They're quarterback, though. Bro, the, the, the people that they getting from Philly, it's like Alabama quarterback. They so good. That's an Alabama quarterback, though. Hey, first of all, we finish it. The only the only reason why they have an Alabama quarterback, because they didn't just have an opportunity to get a Georgia quarterback. They much rather have Deshaun Watson the Sunshine, trust me, than Jalen Hurts. That's not true. That's definitely true. Well, Those aren't Georgia quarterbacks. They from Georgia. They didn't play for Georgia. I'm talking about from Georgia. Oh, okay. Yeah, and we, that's how we do it in the football world. Okay. It ain't about, it, it's about, you know. So you saying Jalen Hurts was a mistake for the Eagles? No, I'm not saying he's a mistake. I'm just saying that he not, like, they much rather have a quarterback from the state of Georgia. That's all I'm saying. Just like they, they got all them D linemen. If they, they if they had the choice, they would get they sunshine. They pay a, court, a quarterback from Georgia two hundred fifty five. Damn near no two hundred sixty. Will Lamar just got Georgia quarterback. Got to go down with the price a little bit. If you're talking about the football team, yeah. Respect, respect no, nah, no. Nah. If you're talking about the football team, yeah, because you gotta understand Deshaun Watson got one of the biggest contracts in the league. Yeah. Did you see um? Jalen Hurts contract, the breakdown. He only get like twenty million his first year. Yeah. He had twenty million his first year. I think his second year he get the most he gets, which is fifty million. So basically that that GM what he's trying to do is he's trying to give him less money the first year just to see what the fuck's going on and uh clear up some cap space. Second year he's trying to give him a large sum of money. And basically before that third year, he's definitely gonna restructure his contract. So so basically, he ain't finna see all that money. Nah, he's gonna see his money. It's just gonna be broke down in a way yeah. to to uh, so they won't go over cap space, Section. and he won't have to give him so much money at once, especially because his guarantee is so high. Because his guarantee, his contract was two hundred and sixty, but his guarantee was one hundred and eighty, mm. which is extremely high. Yeah, but Lamar got the same contract down there, but I think Lamar got his up front, baby. Up yeah. front, baby, signing like, bonus off. I like, I like how he did. Real, that, though. yeah. Why? Yeah, I, did, he really ain't do. Yeah. I mean, no his, agent too. No agent. No agent. His, his mama is an agent. I'm saying, yeah. well, his mama's gonna get paid anyway. But no, it's just break off. You know what I'm saying? It's the same. Like, he's really that's, just keep. That's a big deal. But I'm, this is how I'm looking at. I'm looking at it from a business perspective. Man, them agents got to feed their families too, man. That's yeah, like, but ten to twenty percent is insane. Yeah, yeah. I thought they get like three percent. What you need? What you cut in the middle, man. Nah, you get like ten. Oh, dang. I'm in the wrong profession. Yeah, it's cutting the middle man out. Yeah, bro. Them motherfuckers getting $20 million on a, a, a $200, uh, excuse me, $200 million contract. Some boys getting, they what, getting $20 what, million. What you got to do to be an agent? Uh, I don't Connection. think you had the credentials, bro. I just, hey, man. Hey, hey, see how he do me? I ain't asked you <laughs> I mean. I know that's why you asking, though. Yeah. Where's the lie? <laughs> Man, anyway, bro. <laughs> so, crypto, man. Slim, I know you don't really rock with crypto, but I'm gonna ask you this anyway. Okay, go ahead. What do you think about the future of Dogecoin? <sighs> you got to talk to me. I ain't, I ain't really been um, into it uh, lately. I I really got off of it after I seen you uh, lose a whole bunch of money during the pandemic, and I was only researching it every day just to laugh at you. Oh, okay. <laughs> so now you have to tell me what's going on now. Like, where are the numbers and the insights? How, tell, me, how, tell me the breakdown for like the last three years, if you don't mind. How, how much is it right now, Brandon? Dogecoin? Yeah. Not too sure. And at, this, at this exact moment, I'm not sure. But I tell you what, though, we did take an L. You did. He took one. <laughs> he took one with me. So you really dissing us both right now when you said that. You <laughs> how much you put in there? I was just testing. That's when I was first testing it out. I say probably like like eighty dollars, maybe a hundred, and just putting put more. In oh, there. that's not bad. Yeah, but boo, then, yeah, tell him not, how much you put in there. Oh, he already know. I put bands in there. <laughs> but then, yeah, it, it, you know, at the same time though, it's not an L until you sell. Correct. 
Or, yeah. I mean, or, because I ain't going to lie, man, I don't took so, so much bad advice on stocks and crypto. Like, Cam gave me a stock. They almost go out of business. I looked at I looked at them yesterday, <laughs> and they got nine employees. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like straight up, they, wait, wait. like that's all. And I put I done put some bread in it, bro. Me and Cam got into it again today because uh, he called me, and me and Big King was telling him about our list of the dumbest people we know, <laughs> and we was explaining to him that he like number two. <laughs> So the fact that you took stock advice from somebody that's the number two on my list of dumbest people I know, boo, you got to be on the list too, bro. No, can't be. Don't put me on the list, bro. I didn't you know what be, I, though. Wait, bro, how, how the question look? is, why not? Huh? Why not put you on the list? I'm going to tell you why not. Make it make sense. Because I'm a genius. But other than me being a genius, bro, I ain't even know Cam was dumb. How am I supposed to know Cam ain't dumb? <laughs> Pay attention. Come on, man. Yeah, you got to look at certain things, bro. Like, why would you Why would you take financial advice from a nigga who ain't got no money? <laughs> You're right. No, no, You're nothing right. about right, monopoly. Right, right. Nothing. I'm not saying Cam ain't got no money, but come on, bro. Oh, oh also. A, a nigga um, pull up in a, 19, a 1925 beater. And you like, yeah, I'm definitely gonna listen to that nigga. He knows what he's talking about. <laughs> he know how to get he, that money. He's the one. Yeah, he know he how to get that, that money. He, yeah. yeah, he knows how to get that bread. That's that nigga a bag got a little ditty right bop. He got yeah. a little ditty bop to him. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, I'm gonna listen to him. <laughs> that boy LeBron, he the chosen one. Huh? Nah, I mean LeBron, LeBron ain't the chosen one. Steph Curry is. We ain't, Bro, we ain't. but y'all tell me like, where's man, we, man? We, we gotta see where those. Yeah, please tell me what it is, cause cause I ain't gonna. I still got my. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't sold, I sold my it. those horns. I sold it. I'm holding. Got rid of it. And I started. But this started the this the thing about holding, man. Cause the thing is, they tell you, man, just keep holding. As long as you hold, you won't lose. But that's not true. It is. But I, I I put no. Listen, I put a whole bunch. Of, this even with stocks, bro. I put what's that? Bath and Body Works. Bro, I put bang, I put thousand dollars in back, Bath and Body Works. Yeah, it it's at point oh eight two. Okay, so it's, it's going back up. It's Man. been it's been like point six for the minute. But where was it at? Point I bought oh eight two. I bought I'm I'm in at fourteen cent. Hold on. Point yeah. oh eight two. I'm in I'm still up. Oh so eight. Point oh eight two. So that's eight cent, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm in at fourteen cent. And that's okay, still, you brought in that still, fourteen. Still upside down. Yeah. Yeah. And where was it at when you brought in the same thing? It was, no, I sold I sold it was higher. It was like maybe like well, like forty, it was like forty some cent. Oh, so he got it. He was still got, good. Yeah, he good. 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 And then I just went somewhere else. See, the thing is, you gotta get into these platforms that's like KuCoin and and Mexi Global. Yeah, they see Robinhood and uh, Coinbase. When you get to those platforms, it's already known. You gotta yeah. get those underground gems. So yeah, it. But the thing is. It takes longer to understand it and to go through those platforms because it's too much. You got to do this and send it to this wallet. You got to have a, a MetaMask and shit. Yeah, and some people ain't got the patience. Some people ain't got the patience for it. Yeah, but those are the ones. So Dogecoin is expected to get up to forty-eight cent in the next four years. Mm. It's, that's where it's expected to go up to. Okay. So how many shares you got, Blue? About. Fifteen thousand, fifteen thousand shares. You'll, you'll be up if it go up there. If you hold for those yeah. for those four years, I sold all mine. Like, is that a smart? Th- was that a smart the, thing to do to sell no, it at that time? Was you I mean, down when you sold it? Yeah, but yeah, I was down. The thing well, is, when I did cash out, I, I put all that money into something else. Though I put it into, uh, see, I'm going crazy with B Rise. B rise is, is is a good one. B That's one people should uh, and, fuck with. And happy, yeah, happy. It's on. It's Can we cuss on here, Blue? Yeah, go ahead. I mean, a little bit. I'm doing too much, but yeah, you good, man. Go ahead, have fun. You know I cuss, bro. Yeah, cussing ain't nothing. Everybody cussing. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> like, like, see, uh, over here trying to be super PG. <laughs> ain't Don't PG. you say that bad word. Yeah, you know, you know, Damo was here. The D word would have been going crazy <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Welcome to another episode of Fish and Beep. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, so next four years, Dogecoin is supposed to get up to almost fifty cent. And Blue, you asked my opinion on uh, Dogecoin. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. When it comes to all this crypto shit, bro, I be scared, bro. That's why I ain't never put money into it. It's a risk. And then we man, also got- I took the risk, and Blue fucked me. 
I took the rich blue fuck me. I, I did. Ain't fuck with it again. I did. I I I, I told Slim about it because it was going crazy when he bought it. Yeah, but it's too high. That's a, that a high. Yeah. Rate. I think I think I think it was at fourteen when Blue told me about it, and that shit had got all the way up to like sixty four cent. And I was like, oh, we about to be rich. And yeah. that shit dropped. <laughs> yeah. That yeah, shit yeah. plummeted like a motherfucker. I, I learned, I learned, see, when we was uh, I had a chance at the time, I had about 10K into those. I had a chance to see that motherfucker go to five, to six, to eight. To, I'm like, damn. Shit, shit might go to 11, 12, 20. And then as soon as that motherfucker went up, that motherfucker went down. I'm like, should I cash out? But I ain't never, I never been in that position. Yeah. So like, I could have took some profit and put what I initially put in, and still been on top. But I, you know, so you gotta get slapped on the wrist to understand. It's a, like I said, it ain't the L to you sell. So just like I bought some. I ain't gonna sit here and say that, but go ahead. Yeah, you, you buy some at a certain price. You buy some at fifty cent, and that shit go down to fourteen cent. Why? Why would you sell? At least get back what you initially. Wait, wait till you get to fifty. That shit might be two, three years from now. Or it might be zero, bro. I'm telling you, okay. dog. That's cool. It's That's not cool. cool. It bro, is cool. I, I invested in Bath and Body Works, bro. It. Bath and Body Works. I bought it in at fourteen dollars. You know how much Why it is now. Yeah, that's and a, I thought we were talking about crypto. Yeah, you, you right. I'm saying stock shit crypto because you already know those coin in the we tank. Talk, we talking about we talking about crypto. I'm talking. Right, we're gonna stick on we crypto. Ain't, we ain't talking about. I don't think none of it's safe though. Man, crypto, crypto is different. So do you think crypto gonna last? Do you think crypto like shooting dice, bro? Crypto go last. What makes you think crypto going to last? Because all the crypto billionaires popping up dead. I don't know if y'all know that. <laughs> no, the the the, the founders of, the, uh, of these coins are popping up dead. Yeah. Why not you think, the, not why, the crypto billionaires. So why do you think that is? I don't off. know the conspiracy. Say what? I don't know the conspiracy. But you just know they're popping up dead. That's yeah. The, that's they, the said, they said the last guy that died, they found a person that killed them, and they said it wasn't just a random mugging. It was somebody he had an issue with over the internet. I don't know how true that is. Some people, one of the conspiracies is that the people who are killing them are people who basically, like basically these people who own these coins, they're basically tricking people out of their money by inflating the coin and then pulling all their money out and then they're tanking the coin. So one conspiracy is that people getting, people investing thousands, thousands of dollars, thirty thousand, fifty thousand dollars into this coin thinking they finna get rich off of it they fuck, and going. somebody pulled a rug up under the yeah, coin that's what called a rug pull, rug pull. Yeah. and now okay. the coin is worth nothing and you don't put in 30 bands so now that what they send them mm. people killing you know them why? they getting mad and killing them you know why because yeah. people investing off the hype and not investing off the, the information facts you going you going off the buzz like you hear this oh shit man that's, nah you ain't did the right research you ain't follow the team you don't know who, who's behind the team they got a face behind the team. They just saying their names. They got pictures on the. You know what I'm saying? You actually got to know what you're getting yourself into. You taking Facts. the risk. At the end of the day, it's a risk. Facts. Oh, this nigga slim different. Yeah, man. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? But yeah, dog. Man, let's go ahead and so let me ask you this, dog. So you honestly think crypto going to stay around? And why do you think, if you do, because I know you do, why do you think they're going to stay around? Crypto, for one thing, I feel like banks is not needed. Why you say that? You got some people tired of asking for their own money. Facts. For one. Two, you know, the government want to keep track of, be in control of what you spend your money on. What's a better way that they can track your crypto? Yeah, It's a lot of cash in the U.S. At the end of the year, they, they count for the cash, and a lot of it is missing. A lot of cash is missing. So I feel like they can keep track of you with that crypto. And like, that's a nice engine. That's a nice engine. Oh, you talking about the SS? Yeah. That's the Camaro? Yeah. Yeah. So let me ask this, Brandon. So you think that the money is finna move from the dollar to crypto? US? Yeah. They figured they had their own crypto. So, okay, it's USDT. I mean, they're, they'll never they'll stay the same to a dollar, but they trying to make a, another. Oh, but yes. 
Yes, it could be another another okay. U.S. And that's currency. how people going. That's what people going to use. So basically, saying the whole track. the whole world going to move towards crypto. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Crypto of the future. I say probably like ten to twelve years from now. What you think about this, Slim? For somebody who don't even deal with crypto at all, what's your opinion? Do you think crypto going to be around? But do you think it's going to be the new currency? No. Okay, and why you? Why don't you think that? Because I don't think anything that the government can't regulate is ever gonna gonna have longevity. Well, they are working on regulating it now, man. That's the thing about it. They want to be in control. Yeah, they're once, trying to regulate. That's another. They, that's another theory. That's what I'm saying. Once they they trying to keep track of your, the cash anyway, and banks is not really needed. They the middle man too. What's that movie? John Lucas. Uh, this is a watch was played as John Lucas. It's a, he's a drug dealer. Oh, uh, Frank Lucas. Frank Lucas. American yeah. um, American Gangster. Yeah. You remember when he traveled? But he used to have a drug dealer in the city of New York. Uh huh. And he traveled to over Columbia. Yeah, Columbia, Columbia yeah. different country. Yeah. Why did he do that? Because it's legal over there. No, because that's where the cocaine comes, that's where, and that's where you can funnel your money at in yeah. offshore accounts. And he cut that middleman out and went and got it right. himself. That's because around that time, around those time periods, um. The 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 CIA was funding was funding a, a war with drug money in the United States. Mm. So he could either brought from the CIA or go to Colombia and get it from the CIA. Oh, so you, you really it. believe that the CIA you, you sold drugs? Money talk. Yeah. yeah. Just, That's like, not, just like police. It's officers. a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy, but it's true. It's true. Just like just like the FBI conspired to kill Martin Luther King. The, those type of conspiracies are, are true. You know, I don't fuck with conspiracy theories, but that type of shit is true. Like, I don't like goofy-ass conspiracy theories. Like, nigga, I don't give a fuck if a nigga walked on the moon or not. I can care less. Niggas be wasting their time debating shit like that. All right, I don't care if the fucking, if the earth is flat or not. Who gives a fuck? What what is that going to do for us? That's Kyrie right there. I don't know, man. I think think it's some reason why people (laughs) hide information. I don't think people hide information for no reason. Why would they see, ooh, in blue, this is... This is the direction your pod needs, needs, needs to go in, these, these weird-ass conspiracy theories. Why would they hide the shape of the earth? <laughs> Maybe because if they if you knew the earth was flat, then you would know that – Maybe it, 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 you would start to question what you're looking at when you look inside of space. So you like think it's flat? Other planets. Like, what are these stars? You, yeah, think it's, you think it's flat? I don't know. What, I, what I'm saying is – he I know that he's, he's scared to say. It. I know that we do not know what the Earth looks like. There are no actual real pictures of the Earth. It's all fake. That's not true, though, Blue. Yeah. Cap the Hubble telescope. You you just don't believe that at all. You don't believe none of those pictures that the Hubble telescope took. No, I believe that all the pictures in the science books that we used to look at as kids, they're all fake. They've all been proven. To all be those fake. pictures are from the Hubble telescope. Fake. 